Hey, what's good, y'all? Fusion here, for another video. So today we're gonna go ahead and be talking about the um, your gear set for the Bellfire build. Um, last week was was the overview on exactly what the build is and how it works. Um, next week I will be doing the full um, full skill set, I think, or I'll do this. Anyway, um, so the skill set one is already out. If not, then it will be out next week. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and start talking about this gear. This is going to be a, uh, a very in-depth video on how and why that I chose like the skill of uh, this gear set. So let's go ahead and get started. Dark Sword. Um, Increase poison damage by 33%. Crit critical hits have 50% chance to light enemies on fire. That increased poison damage as well as the set bonus, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and read right now. Set bonus, um, two for two. Equipped, gain one might when enemies take damage from your poison. Set bonus, four. Um, all attacks have a... 15% chance to inflict an explosive poison on grunts. So the increased poison damage as well as the other poison effects from the set bonus, that is the bread and butter of this build. The explosions that will happen will cause 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 a bell fire, which will be poison uh, fire and poison mix, causing like the fire causes them uh, like to run around. The poison causes them to throw up. That CC right there. Crowd control causing them to not attack you. Keep you um, from not having to take as much damage because they are occupied. Because of that, you will be dealing a lot more damage from the poison. And then the damage over time from the poison and the fire will be happening. So you're just going to be dealing a lot of damage. Um, and because of that, enemies will be dying a lot. Now, I'm going to go ahead and skip over to the Venom Tamer Ring. 50% um, chance increase. 50% increase damage dealt by allies to poisoned enemies. I'm going to be poisoning them a lot because of the explosions, just because of my, of my skills as well. So, my allies will be doing a lot of damage. And then they will be dying. Because of that, uh, the secondary effect happens. 15 health recovery per kill. That's not a lot, but you will be getting a lot of kills with this build because enemies will just be randomly dying from the poison um, explosion as well as them dying by the poison itself. So you will be healing quite a bit just from random kills happening just around the map. Darkest Cloak increased poison damage to enemies by by 33%. 50% increased damage dealt by beast allies. Not important. If you find a better um, cloak. So, I have another cloak here. This is my non-legendary um, non set cloak, uh, cloak, which is uh, the Bio Keeper. Increase the duration of poison inflicted by 90%. You have an argument for that, um, but more often than not, they will be dying fast, well, quicker, um, so you really won't need that poison, like, duration, but if you find a better, like, the darkest, um, cl uh, the darkest chest piece or something like that, and it's just great as far as, like, the stats and, and the perks, that's a valid change. Um, but since we're talking about the chest piece, Flame Striker, 75% chance increase for critical hits while on fire, 75% chance that a critical hit lights enemies on fire, stack that with the sword, 50%, 25%, that's 75% chance that they will be on fire from a from critical hit. Since this is, again, an explosion build, there's going to be a lot of fire everywhere. You will be on fire sometimes. 
75% chance increase for you to crit. And then because of that, you will be setting them on fire with with your crits. So it just works. Darkest longbow, increased poison damage by 33%. That's normal. 50% chance that a headshot lights an enemy on fire. Boom. That stacks perfectly. It works. And that's oh, and then the increased poison damage to enemies by 33%. Quick throws apply frost every 20 seconds. Great. Perfect. Again, um, so the quick throw is an extra one. Now, if, if there's one that applies poison or fire, run that instead, obviously. Um, but as long as you do get that set bonus at the end of the day, that's the most important thing because that will be causing the explosion and so on. Um, now the gems. Increase health stolen by 20% with this weapon. Um, I always run the green gem on here, um, especially when it comes to these higher level, um, having to do with the... Uh, when I play on Brutal, that's when I usually have more of, of like the green gems, because it helps with the health and... And helps you to stay alive. Increase stolen, um, increase health stolen by twenty five percent. By twenty percent, excuse me. Um, that is just it. Just keeps you alive, keeps you healthy, as well as stacks with um, the other healing from your ring. It, it's just gonna keep you alive. Increase damage dealt thirty percent with your dagger that's what you always run with this so the point of using of the dagger is to one shot that's what you got to do so just stack as much damage as you can same thing with the uh, bow do more damage um, life gem increase max health 30% same thing as with with the sword pretty much just to keep you alive um, your cloak, same thing, 30% keep you alive. I already talked about this, uh, but this is the um, non-legendary set here. That's what I have. Obviously, there may be stuff that's better down the road. Take that, but this is what I have for right now. Increase the, the duration of poison. You already know how that works. Keep the chest piece. Keep the ring. Change this out for the Venom Biter. 55% chance increase uh, range damage to poisoned enemies. I'm another effect. Five elf shot replenished when a captain becomes dazed. More so for the po um, for the in increased range damage. You will be poisoning a lot of enemies. Why not do more damage with the bow? And that extra um, five elf shot is always great to have. Dagger, Ember Stroke, your stealth attack always lights enemies on fire. Quick throws light enemies on fire um, every 20 seconds. Again, the point of your of your dagger is to one shot, but if you can't one shot, then just set them on fire. Sometimes that will do a lot more damage. And then you have the quick throws as well. Um, the sword, bile breath, uh, bile breather. Executions on Captain makes your attack apply poison for 10 seconds. A critical hits have a 50% chance to poison enemies. Poison, again, that will stack with your hoodie. Um, I mean, your cloak, whatever the hell. And then uh, you're just going to be poisoned. And then they're just going to be poisoned for so long, it does give you chances to get the uh, headshots off and then set them on fire with your dagger. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, so I have this mission here. I did just want to show you guys how the build works as far as um, just live gameplay here. And, and I just wanted to clear this out real quick. So, so you're already seeing the fire happening just after hitting one of those guys there um, but in something like this where there's a lot of enemies 
This is when I would prefer using the legendary set. Set all these losers on fire. Again, I didn't take any damage because I used um, used the Elven Light. And you see how much health he had? And then he just instantly died. It's the build. It's that poison, man. And then there's the poison bomb about to happen. Boom. Poison. All of them. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out these guys as well. Activate this poison. Got them all poisoned. There's another poison explosion about to happen. And all these orcs dying. And I'm just gonna heal. And I'm just gonna be healing. Now, against captains, I can say that um, when you're fighting against multiple orcs and enemies, this is the this is when I actually do enjoy. Like, this build works well. When it is more so just... Uh, I actually just want to let that explode. When it's more of a one-on-one -on -one or not a lot of enemies then it is definitely worth to uh, run the non-explosion build. Because like, there's not, not many orcs that you can take advantage of the explosion of, so it's not that worth it, but... This is a pretty quick one here. Him out so he doesn't activate his. Nope. S slept him. There's pain all around us. Let us join you. Fight me and let us rejoice. Pain and suffering. So this guy, he's gonna get work. I'll kill both these losers. They're all geeked up from that thing, so. Alright. Activating Bellfire, and he's gonna die. He's gonna burn out and poison. So that's pretty much all you really need to know about the build, as far as, uh. How it works as far as with the damage goes and everything um, and how you should try to combo and deal damage and just notice how quickly I'm clearing through this um, I'm thinking I don't have any should have grabbed some arrows balls over there but that's fine that's that bell fire active um, from a random crit. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and clear out these. Oh, I suck. I was about to reach the 20. Give me some help. Kill all these guys. Twenty. 28. All right. Then let's go ahead and fight this uh, overlord here, so you can guys see, you guys can see the. Dang, he got nobody in here really fighting. That boy talking. Talking. Alright. 
now. First order of business. I like to take... Oh, I don't have any arrows still. Okay, let's go this way. Grab these arrows. I don't want to fight like this, though. Alright. Now we got this going. Activate the thing. Boom. He's immune. And now I have my orcs up. Well, my revens up or whatever. So I'm going to have help. gonna combo him down easily and then while my weapons are keeping them busy I can just take him out easily done do it then just wish I could be there when your head comes rolling off your shoulders Good night, me boy. And that's pretty much the build, man. It just works well when there's a lot of chaos, when there's a lot of enemies dying around you, so that means that you can get some more healing, so that means that you can eventually raise them from the dead, give them poison weapons, dealing more poison, so on and so forth. That's pretty much everything, man. Uh, tell me what you guys think about the build. Um, it's fun. It just... It does take a little bit of time to get going. As far as um, which items that you need. Um, your skills. All that type of stuff. But it definitely does take time. And it is definitely a grind. Um, but you're definitely going to have fun with the build. It's a great mid to late game build. Um, but I, I enjoyed it. Um, but that's everything guys. I'll see y'all next video and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.